we will fail every time we try to do things if we try to do it ourselves. Jesus is the captain of our soul. He's our Lord and our Savior and our Master. He's the Alpha, the Vega, beginning and the end. He's a source and a course. He's a tire of refuge and strength. He alone is our city of refuge from the soft and the fire darts. A good soldier is faithful in his patience. We will endure hardship. Amen. For Jesus said in John 16, verse 33, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Amen. Did you hear me, church, when Jesus said, I have overcome the world. He has won. What does that mean? We only went inside. I read the back of the book. Amen. Amen. We win. Amen. We win. Amen. We're not a loser. Good soldiers faithful with his parties. They do their best to please the commander, Jesus Christ. Ask yourself these questions. What comes first in my life? What do you think about the most? What do you talk about the most? Those three things there, just, just ponder. Just something to, that's free right there, just throw that out there. But a good soldier is faithful in his practice. Guards the truth. 2 Timothy 4, verses 3 and 4 says, Stand guard, reprove, rebuke, exhort, teach, preach the word of God. Guard the truth. What's handed down to you with every life is necessary. So in order to be a good soldier, we must live in order to defend the truth of God. We are called to be faithful soldiers. A good soldier is familiar with skills concerning his weapon. Let's go to Ephesians 6, just a second. Verses 10 through 18. Ephesians 6, verses 10 through 18. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of the world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil days, having done it, and to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, having on your breastplate righteousness, and your feet shod with preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, take the shield of faith, wherewith you should be able to quench all the fiery darts of wickedness. Take the heaven of salvation, the sword, the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, Praying always without power and supplication in the Spirit, watching thereto unto perseverance, unto perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that others must be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Verse 20, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly, I ought to speak. We need to speak out more, amen. What is saying? A good soldier is familiar with this commander's voice. Remember, she says in there about the sheep know my name. They know my name. They know the name. They don't speak. A good soldier will not cower down or retreat in the face of the enemy. He'll be aggressive. Second Timothy 6 12 tells us to fight the good fight of faith, not letting up, always keep the enemy on the run. It's a command from God 
I fear that the church of today in America has ceased to fight against our common enemy, Satan. We have stopped fighting against Satan and all his lies and deceptions. Instead, we have gotten spiritually lazy on the sideline. Hello? Amen. We have allowed the ACLU and Planned Parenthood and the liberal media to set the agenda for our nation rather than Christians taking our nation back for the glory of Jesus Christ. We're called by the Lord to be the salt and light in the dark culture. We're called as a city set on a hill. My friend, I urge you today in the precious name of Jesus Christ the Lord, let your light shine for his glory. Amen. Amen. A soldier of the Lord needs to be dedicated to his master, determined with the assignment that the Lord has given him. They must be driven to please the Lord. A good soldier is a father, faithful, familiar, fighter. And finally, a good soldier is a finisher. Because he or she knows there's a reason for it, because he knows he will be rewarded. Every good deed will be rewarded by the commander. Someday the soldier will hear him say, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. I am a soldier. He, he has, here I stand. I am a soldier, a prayer warrior of the army of God. The Lord Jesus Christ is my commanding officer. The Holy Bible is my code of conduct. Faith and prayer. And the word of God are my weapons for warfare. I've been taught by the Holy Spirit, trained by the experience, tried by my adversary, and tested by fire. I'm a volunteer in this army, and I've been enlisted for eternity. I will either retreat at the, I will, I will not retreat or die by running away. I will not get out, sell out, run out, or be talked out. I am faithful, capable, dependable. If my God needs me, I am there. I'm a soldier, a prayer warrior. Here I stand. I'm, I'm not a baby. I don't need to be pampered, petted, primed up, pumped up, picked up, or pepped up. I'm in this thing for the long haul. I'm a prayer. I'm a warrior. I'm a soldier. Here I stand. No one has to call me, write me, visit me, entice me, recognize me, reward me, alert me. I am a soldier, a prayer warrior. Here I stand, I'm not a whim. I'm in my place, saluting my king, obeying his orders, praising his name, and helping to build his kingdom. I am a soldier, a prayer warrior. Here I stand. No one has to send me flowers, gifts, food, cards, candy, or give me hands out. I do not need to be cuddled or catered. I am committed. I cannot have my feelings hurt bad enough to turn around. I cannot be discouraged enough to turn me aside. I cannot lose enough to make me quit. When Jesus called me into this army, I have nothing. If I end up with nothing, I still will come out even. I will win. My God will supply all my needs. I am more than a conqueror. I will always, I will always try out. I can do all things through Christ Jesus. I am a soldier. Prayer warrior, here I stand. The devil cannot defeat me. People cannot delusion me. Weather cannot beat me. Sickness cannot stop me. Battles cannot beat me. Money cannot buy me. The government cannot silence me. And hell cannot handle me. I'm a soldier, a prayer warrior, and here I stand. Even death cannot destroy me. And when my commander calls me from this battlefield, he will promote me to a captain and bring me back to rule this world. I am a soldier, a prayer warrior, in the army of the Lord, I am marching. I'm claiming victory. I will not give up. I will not turn around. I am a soldier, a prayer warrior, and I'm marching on the way to heaven bound. Here I stand. And I hope you do the same thing. Amen. 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 In case you wonder where I got that from, I got it from my buddy from Jack Daniels. Praise God. That's a lot of stuff in there, isn't it? Amen. Amen. We back away about something, don't we? Mm -hmm. I believe the last days on planet Earth that God's going to raise up the standard of people that's going to be able to withstand what's going on. But the ones that are not prayed up are in trouble. Amen. In trouble. We can have the very thing going on right now that's been going on in France and all these other countries. So we've got to be ready. Last brother Gordon, come, please. Stand, if you don't mind. <clears throat> 